the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Donkey of the Day for Monday, February 9th goes to Mr. Kanye West. Now, I haven't given Kanye Donkey of the Day in a long time, but I'm looking forward to this one. Now, Kanye is and always will be an interesting case study because he's like the guy who is so easy to like, but for whatever reason, he makes it so hard to like him. Mm. And, you know, I'm watching the Grammys last night, and I actually liked Kanye's performance of his record, Only One, because... I like the record only one. It's a dope tune to me. It's very somber, very depressing. And his performance last night <laughs> was dark and depressing. I mean, it was so dark and depressing that it could have been a Super Bowl ad. And, and, and I thought it was hilarious when he rushed the stage last night after Beck upset Sam Smith and Beyonce in the album of the year category. But Kanye did the pump fake and turned around. So I thought that was funny. And the reason I thought it was funny because I thought he was joking until I saw the Grammy after show on mm -hmm. E and Kanye said this. I don't even know what he said. I just know that the Grammys, if they want real artists to keep coming back, they need to stop playing with us. We ain't finna play with them no more. Flawless, Beyonce video. And Beck needs to respect artistry, and he should have given his award to Beyonce. And at this point, we tired of it. When you keep on diminishing art and not respecting the craft and smacking people in the face after they deliver monumental feats in music, Amen. you're disrespectful to inspiration. And we as musicians have to inspire people who go to work every day and they listen to that Beyonce album and they feel like it takes them to another place. No, we not playing with them no more. And by the way, I got my wife, I got my daughter, and I got my clothing line, so I'm not going to do nothing to put my daughter at risk. Right. But I yes. am here to fight for creativity. That's the reason why I didn't say anything tonight. But y'all know what it meant when Ye walked on that stage. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Listen to me, bro. I love Beyonce, too. You know I'm a Pinkett Smith Winfrey Nose Carter, but you don't have to cape for her every time she doesn't win an award. You can't ask people for the same exact thing you don't give. You want people to respect artistry, but you don't respect everybody's art. You don't want everyone to respect the art. You want people to respect the art that you like. If you respect artistry, then you wouldn't have interrupted Taylor Swift in 2009. Mm -hmm. You'd let her have her moment, and you wouldn't be telling Beck to give his award to Beyonce. You'd let him have his moment. Why you don't respect Beck's artistry? I never even heard Beck's album to say if it's better than Sam Smith's album or Beyonce's album. But I do know if you want people to respect artistry, like you say, then Kanye, you need to become the change you want to see in the world and start respecting people's artistry for your damn self. Not to mention, if everybody is so tired of the Grammys, then why do y'all go? I was always told don't go where you're tolerated, go where you're celebrated. Award shows that show love to y'all, whether it's the BET Hip Hop Awards or the BET Awards, you artists need to start making sure y'all go to those events because when I watch those shows and they call your names as winners, all we hear is, well, such and such couldn't be here tonight, so we accept the award on their behalf. That's whack. If y'all keep sucking off the Grammys for it, why do y'all need the Grammys validation? Look, Beck won album of the year. I never heard it. That's not my choice for album of the year. Mine would be Beyonce or Sam Smith in The Lonely Hour. And guess what? Just because those albums didn't win the Grammy doesn't make those albums any less great to me. It doesn't diminish those albums in my eyes just because they didn't win a Grammy. Just because an album doesn't win a Grammy doesn't mean that the music doesn't inspire me. Stop sucking the Grammys off so much and looking for validation from people who clearly don't know what's hot in these streets. And Kanye, please take some of your own advice and respect not just the art you like, but artistry from all artists. Give Kanye West the biggest hee-haw, please. All right. Well, I agree you. with that. That was a very rude thing for him to do. He probably never even heard Beck's album, just like we didn't. Absolutely. And who are we to say that he didn't deserve that? I don't know. All right. Well, thank exactly. you for that donkey today, Charlemagne. Yep. The Breakfast Club.